Hello students, Assalamualaikum. How are you doing? I think you are fine. Bus not at all. Is that it or not? <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, okay, that. <laughs> it it means uh, not at all. Is that it or not? <laughs> okay. So now we are going to solve a problem from James Stewart calculus. That is for B like pick up one. Okay. So question number six from exercise. 1.2 James Stewart Calculus James Stewart Calculus I think you are thinking that uh, oh, the problem will be very frightening but not it's quite easy so now we start the problem is that f of x is equal, uh, g of x sorry is equal to 1 upon 1 minus 10x okay and uh, the, how is, what to solve what is the main problem the uh, what to say is the man what the question is asking from us the question is to find to determine the domain of the functions okay so this function is given and we have to find domain domain okay so dear students you know that very well for any rational function the denominator must not be equal to zero. Isn't it or not? Oh yes. Okay. So one minus ten x does not equal to zero. Why is this? Because it is in the denominator. Due to this, I have written that one minus ten x does not equal to zero. Okay, let's start. Now you can say I'm going to just solve this problem. Use uh, one minus ten x. Uh, then uh, minus 10x uh, it will go uh, will, when the right hand side then there will be plus 10x okay then can I write this is 10x does not equal to 1 okay so now let's come now 10x does not equal to 1 but our main is to determine the domain it means the values of x for which this function does not, sorry, uh, this function is defined. Okay, and we have determined those values too at which the function is not defined. Okay, so first of all, let's x does not equals to 10 inverse of 1. As we can say simply that we have to find the values of x, such values at which 10x does not equals to 1. That will be your domain. Isn't it or not? I think you are getting bored. Sure? No, no. Okay, okay, okay. So I think this question problem is very simple, simple not uh, frightening you. Uh, is it? No, no. Okay. Thank you very much. So now, x does not equal to. Uh, you know that, friends and students, a uh, 10 inverse of 1 is equal to what? Pi by 4. Then inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 4. Isn't it or not? 10 is inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 4. So it's clear from this problem that 10 in x does not equal to pi by 4. This is the domain. But if I'm going to write here, this is what to say pi by 4. But this pi by 4, other can also come here. Pi by 4. Isn't it? Yes. So, when we come from this point to this point, here is also function is also undefined here. Okay? Then next, again we will go again at that point. There is also, but to say the function is defined. And you know that this is 10x. Okay? 10x for this. From here, this, this, uh, this point to this point, the function has traveled 1 pi. Isn't it? Then, from this point to this point, this function has traveled 1 pi. It means second pi. Then from this to this, third pi. This to this, fourth pi. This to this, sixth pi. And this to this, fourth pi. And so on. Means up to n. Isn't it? Are you getting or not? Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. So, can I write? This function is does not equal to the x does not equal to pi by 4 plus time what 
plus sign n of pi means number of pi n n may be equals to 1 2 3 and up to n okay it means you are getting. Yes. So if you are responding, it it means that you are getting something, but not at all. Is that it? You are getting? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's. Uh, why have you haven't uh, raised the question? Why I have written plus or minus? Because. Uh, uh, yeah. Two two uh, points. Four by two uh, means. Yeah. Simply you can say. Uh, you, don't want to, you know that in any, uh, what to say, that function may come from this, maybe anti-clockwise or clockwise, isn't it or not? This value must from, uh, can be from clockwise, we can move from clockwise or anti-clockwise. If we are going to clockwise, see, it means, so what means is that, that uh, this plus minus is due to clockwise and anti-clockwise, okay? So this is all domain of this function. Okay friends, now this was the problem and now we are going to another problem. Okay, uh, another problem is, uh, I am going to remove, have you written it all? Yeah. Written it all? Okay, so now I am going to remove this problem, now we are going to uh, for another problem. I think you have got it all, very well. Okay, okay, okay. Now another problem is, <coughs> we have given. Uh, a question uh, from a student. The question is that find the limit. This is from previous source section, but uh, now we can say we have to solve this. To, uh, this is a question from a student, so we have to solve yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, the question is what? Find the limit. Limit of function. function. Okay, and function is what? F of x is your name is. Mohammad Ali. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm going to uh, give the name, the function, uh, the name of you uh, as what your name is, and Hanif. Hanif, I think so from H. So I'm going to give the name to the function as H of X. H of X. Are you agree now? Are you yes. happy now? Okay. okay. Happy. So H of X is equals to what? There is a limit. X approaches to zero. X is square. Sign. Is it your problem? Yeah. Okay. One over. One by x. Is it? Okay. This was the problem. And we have to determine the limit of this function. Okay. So now we are going off. Oh, oh, shit. Now let's hope oh, this is quite a uh, very uh, bothering problem for you. So now we are going to solve this problem. Here is the technique to solve this problem. What is the technique we are going to realize now? Okay, be concentrated and you have to give concentration on the board. Okay, okay Mr. Okay. Hanim, okay. I have given the name of your, uh, as your name is here. Okay, so now we will uh, apply the project and a uh, technique here. Technique is this we let that sign of 1 upon x is between what is between minus x to. Sorry, 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 I said minus x. What's that? Between minus one and one. What? And minus one and one is also included. This is an true. Okay. In inequality in between in yes. we can also say from minus one to okay. one. Okay. It means the value of sine of one upon x is between minus one to one. It can now go further from by means of by one minus one or one. Okay. If there is a problem, a is equal to b. You are going to say that a is equal to b. If I'm going to say that twice of A is equal to twice of B, is it wrong? No. No? Why not? Because I have multiplied both sides by the means of 2. Okay? If I am going to multiply this, this between the left hand side by 2 and right hand side by 1 upon 2, then there will be the problem. Okay? But if I'm multiplying both sides by the, by the same same thing, that then there, there, there will be no any difference. Okay? So now I am going to multiply this whole term by x square. Then this will be x minus x square is less than and equals to what? Sine of sorry sorry sorry. This will be the x square sine of one upon x is less than and equal to x square. Is it? 
Now, carry on. We have to apply a limit. Limit x approaches to 0 of minus x square is less than and equals to limit x approaches to 0 of what? x square sine of 1 upon x. Okay? Is less than and equals to limit of x approaches to 0 of x square. Isn't it? Are you getting or what? Somehow. Sure. Somehow. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's again. Okay. You know that this is our function. And we are going to. You got it all or not from, but no, at this point. from this point? Okay, now I am going to apply the limit. Limit is given, but limit x approaches to 0. I have applied this all the sides with minus x square, with this term, okay, and with this term. Okay, now what is the limit of minus x square? This will be 0. Is that it or not? Is less than and equal to? Limit x, I am not applying this limit here. Limit x approaches to 0, x square sine 1 upon x does not, uh, is less than or equal to limit of x square will be equal to 0. Okay. Oh, this is the sandwich theorem. Isn't it? This is sandwich theorem. Sandwich theorem is what? If you can say that, uh, what to say? There is a theorem that if we have given h of x is less than and equals to this is somehow like this g of f of x and it is less than and equals to g of x okay it's sim simply we can say that if limit limit of uh, limit of limit x approaches to a of h of x is equal to limit x approaches to a limit x approaches to a of g of x is equal to uh, limit of this h of x is equal to limit of g of x are equal are equal you can see from above that limit of this side is equal to 0 and also this is equal to 0 both sides are equal then it implies that it implies that and if these the both limits are equal to L then it implies that limit of limit of limit x approaches to 0 of f of x will be equal to the same same like the limit of the this side and this side okay so now limit of what to say uh, limit of I am going to write it. Okay, if you are not. Here is what 0 is less than and equal to uh, limit of x approaches to 0 of x is by sine of 1 upon x and is less than and equal to 0. Okay, so both sides are, we know that we have given a problem that then here, here it is written. If the limit of h of x is equal to limit of g of x, it means both end, end limits are equal, then the uh, ending limits will be equal to the middle limit. Okay, you can say technically. Okay, so these both are equal, then this will also be equal. Okay, so now limit of from this limit of limit x approaches to 0 of f of x, limit x approaches to 0 of f of x uh, will be equal to, and f of x is what? We can say limit x approaches x square sine of 1 upon x will be equal to c ok this was our problem that how to find the limit of this and this is known as the sandwich theorem what? sandwich theorem you know that when this is up, up going to be applied I think you have got this theorem or not? got it? if the limits if function is like this h of x is less than and equal to f of x and f of x is less than and equal to g of x then limits of h of x and f if limit of h of x and g of x are equal then their limit will be equal to the limit of the f of x just this technique you should have to apply okay then there will be your answer okay so i, I think you have got this all 
students next in next inshallah next conversation we will discuss uh, about further uh, problems of the uh, regarding functions because we are uh, now carrying uh, on uh, our uh, calculus genesis to what 1.2 we will carry on inshallah the next questions of this problem uh, this exercise now this problem was from a student my student mohammed hanif okay due to this i have solved this problem but the question number six was called well what to say the real problems okay so this was our problem okay okay thank you very much thank you.